is Transformers 96 here with another review, this time of Nightmare for Christmas, uh, Clown with the Tearaway Face. So very cool, um, so great, so it's Thursday of my Nightmare for Christmas reviews, right now it's actually Tuesday, but I'm going to post this on Thursday, um, so great, uh, the one before this should be the Undersea Gal, the one before her should be the Devil, the one before him should be an unboxing video, and then the one before the unboxing video should be the, um, the Demon, so very cool, uh, let's talk about the box, there's a clown with a great picture on it, it says, sorry, Features um, a unicycle, so very cool. On the back here, got a good picture of the clown with the tearaway face. Um, uh, other names for him are uh, Jumbo and Tearaway, often seen with Werewolf and Bear Moth, or Bamahith Moth. I don't know who that is, and I have watched him burn. I mean, I have watched uh, Nine Before Christmas so many times, and I really think that I know every single character, even the ones that you wouldn't expect to see in a million years, and I have no idea who this guy is. Um, if you guys do, I'd love to know. I even saw, I don't know if you've seen, um, but uh, in the background, in one scene of the movie, there's actually um, the Grim Reaper. So, uh, if you can see, find that, you know, you should be able to see every single character in the movie. Um, and I saw the Grim Reaper in the background of one scene, and um, I don't know who this guy is. Maybe I've seen him many times, but just don't know his name. So, I don't know. If you know who that guy is, just let me though, know, though. I'd like to hear. Special talents, uh, writing, new uh, writing new cycle, likes. Um, it pretty much says anything um, just uh, goofing off. And dislikes being serious. So very cool. Um, here's some others. Under Sea Gal, I've reviewed. I've reviewed the devil. I've reviewed the demon. And here's the clown. What I thought was interesting is the picture on the back of all of these is pretty much the same picture as the one up here. Except with the clown. At least from the ones that I have. That's how it is. It's the same picture up here. But uh, with the clown, it's actually a different pi a picture down here than it is up there. So there you go. You can see his hand is... um. Kind of just like there, just stops there. His hand goes up, and he's looking a little bit different way. And um, it's the lighting's done from the bottom to shadow his eyes. And this, you can kind of see his eyes in this picture. So I thought that was interesting. All right, so get that over there. Now it's time for uh, talk about the toy. So fantastic! I was extremely excited to get this figure, and. Um, I did, as you can see. So very cool, a huge um, figure, really big from um, the others. Uh, if you want a comparison to the others, that's my next review. That's what that's all about, comparing all the figures. So look out for that. Um, I just put it up there. We go, and you can see this fantastic face sculpt. It's just menacing looking, very just creepy and scary and just awesome. I really love it. Uh, He's just really cool, just big, fat. He's kind of hollow inside, but not that much. He's got this extremely skinny legs with these huge feet, huge body, you know, arms are fairly skinny, uh, fat face, and just awesome with this kind of like a little unicycle that he just rides around in all the time. So it's awesome. I love this kind of polka dot thing going on for him. Very cool. The unicycle is done in a very um, shiny blue almost metallic, um, with black and then like a yellowish green. I really hate that color, but for this, it looks good. So, um, and then he's got just a black wheel that does not move, and uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of these silver things coming out, and one of them just extends all the way to the bottom, and it, that one's just completely metal, which goes into a peg right here. And there you go. And that is how he stands. So he's very top heavy. And it, you know, he shakes while he's up here. So that kind of scares me, but I've learned just to, uh, you know, just to let it go. And he probably won't break. I seriously doubt it, or else they wouldn't have made it like this. So there you go. Um, his feet are not attached to the, uh, to the pedals. They're just laying there, but they do lay there perfectly. So it looks like they're attached to the pedals. Um, so very cool. Just a massive stomach, which just looks awesome with the belt kind of a uh, scrunching his his stomach and having um just like his fat I guess come out the sides of it which is a very movie like very cool they very accurate just the whole thing the arms are great um he's got a, a chicken here a yo-yo and um 
I don't know what those things are called. I've played with it, but you hit the ball with the thing. The strings attached to the ball and the paddle. Oh, it isn't like paddle ball, something like that. Um, I don't know. It's a little kid's thing. Um, so that's cool. Articulation. I don't think he has head rotation. I'm pretty sure he. Oh wow, look at this. He's got an upper torso waist articulation. I didn't know that. Well, fantastic. I learned something new. Look at that. That is awesome. So even better than I thought. I totally didn't know that this rotated. So that's cool. So that's uh, awesome. He can be looking kind of behind him as he's going off. Um, he's got a, a shoulder swivel. And uh, that's it. Oh, and a um, uh, an elbow swivel. It, but it's not hinged and no um no wrist so it's so very cool you can really get his arms in a, a cool pose the face is detailed just to the maximum i mean oh if you can see that detail just oh fantastic the eyes are just menacing with the happy horrible uh frightening face very cool and with the little hat with the um the wings on him that does rotate. I have to say it doesn't do, uh, rotate very well, but it can if you want it to. So very cool. Um, I absolutely love this figure. Um, highly recommended by me. I mean, this is great. The paint's fantastic with the different shades of yellow, just pretty much all over this guy, and it just looks great. Even the little toys on his belt are just detailed fully, and it's just fantastic. Um, it just he looks great. He's the best. Uh, Number four Christmas. Um, toy that I have and uh, that I've gotten so far so I'm extremely happy with this guy I have yet to see one that um, is better than him um, so very cool on features I read to you on the box it said um, unicycle and he does come with a unicycle that isn't removable at least I don't think he's removable I doubt it is um, and but it also comes with something else which is probably just something that they just added at the end but it comes with one of these where you kind of like push the back and it makes a lot of noise. It's just completely plastic, though. And uh, he doesn't hold it. Um, he can't hold it anywhere. There's no peg or anything that would allow him to hold it. Uh, you can't peg it onto his belt. You can't do anything with it. So I thought that was very strange that they added this. Um, I think they just thought there wasn't enough plastic and uh, you need that one little accessory to um, make it better I guess I just tend to just leave it on his base right there and it looks good it's just another accessory uh, this this toy line has been great with accessories which I really like and this is a huge figure um, you'll see how big he is with the rest of them um, tomorrow in my comparison video so very cool I'll look for that and then on Saturday it'll be on um, the Red Death review uh, on Saturday or Sunday, um, I'll post a, um, a Tron Clue review. Um, sorry, in my uh, other video, I said that I um, I planned out all of my stuff and I told you all of the reviews I had coming out, but I didn't mention the uh, Clue. And that is because I really forgot that I haven't reviewed him until I got a message yesterday night of somebody saying, can you review Clue? So, um, so I'm reviewing Clue on Saturday or Sunday. I'll post that review one of those two days. So very cool. This is a highly recommended figure, figure that you need to get information of uh, how I got it and how much I paid, I'll tell you tomorrow on Friday when I just compare them all, I'll tell you where I got them all for how much, so very cool, um, need to get this figure, absolutely fantastic, and it does have the lines on his face, um, like it's able to come off, it might be removable, I'm not sure, but I definitely don't want to break him, so I didn't try yet, but this guy is just awesome, you need to get him, oh, excuse me, you need to get this guy, because he is just great. Great. So there you go. Um, so that's my video. Oh, and if you want to see him in action in the movie, um, I have a clip on uh, my favorites. If you go into my favorites, just look for the Nightmare for Christmas clip, and uh, he's definitely in it. Um, all the background characters are. So if you saw anybody from my reviews that you want to see in the movie, just click on that video, and every background person should be in that. So there you go. So that's my video review of um, Nightmare for Christmas, the clown with the tearaway face. Thanks so much for watching.